Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming. Welcome back to Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. And in the last episode, or off screen, I did a little bit of work and added a few new stations. You might be able to see them. But first, yeah, we spent a lot of money off screen. $2.91 million total last year, or this past, the two months. And uh, yeah, that was $2.6 million on tracks that included a tunnel right down here and uh, yeah this station was about I don't know four or five hundred thousand dollars and so that just provides another option for fuel to get uh, refined and actually rather than running my train down here oil to here you yeah, know what I think I'm actually going to do that I had this big plan to set up this the rest of this train line down to here but now I might not need to <laughs> so my original plan to use this as a rail line down to this refinery can, could actually be used to bridge across here to come into this here because what I plan to do is run a road from here down to here to run logs over here planks back over here load up onto a train to come across here to then either come up this way drop the logs off here or the planks and then truck them up to here I didn't exactly want to do that just because the length of time it would take the trucks from go from here up to there and then back empty or I could bring goods back this direction but my plan was to bring goods this way and then goods back this way make money going both directions plus oil going this way plastics going that way I didn't want to clog up this with planks but, yeah, just because I would have to put... That's the thing. The other possibility if I was going to put logs or planks on this line is come up this way and have a train station around here and I actually tried it out. It was the just the train. The train is just crap over here. And so I tried setting up a station here but this is rather convoluted and really, like you can see, there's a hill down here. I was spending about, about $2 million trying to fix this up and I didn't quite like it. So we're not going to do anything with that. Because if I were to build a freight station like this, hmm. Okay, that's only 160,000. Or 160 meters. Yeah, unable to line terrain. Three twenty, even more. One one point six million dollars. Now I don't need long trains coming here. That's a possibility actually. So what I might just do. Hmm. Yep, we're going to do it. And I wanted to have it line up to about there. Because, yeah, if I were to put one of these here, actually, that's not that bad. Yeah, I was on the uh, 320, like, yeah, I didn't want to pay that much. Although 480 is not that bad compared to the amount of crap I was dealing with over there. Ah, uh, do I want to? That's the question. One million dollars.
You know what? Let's try this. If it doesn't work, I can just reload and restart this episode. Do I want a long station? That's the thing. When it comes to trains, it doesn't really matter what length of station, although you might have problems, for instance. If a train can't fit in the station that comes in here, it's not going to be able to get back out, especially with the way I've set it up. So... But I'm not sure if I'm going to want to run really, really long trains. That's the question. No, let's just do it. What is 480k? And now... Let's... Unable to line train. Uh, Two hundred. Sure. Was that 95? Sure, that's a little bit better. Although that is a lot of earth dug out. Anyway, that is going to be a significantly massive tunnel. 1.09. I'm at the point where it really doesn't matter. Question is, how am I going to want to connect this? And yeah, off screen. Did I put this in on screen? That's a question. I know I connected up the roads. We dug this out, and uh, yeah, it looks a little bit better. Unfortunately, you can't really run the rail next to the the road unless you place the road before the rail. So I did do some stuff there. Now, 1.09 million. Although, ugh. let's bring this 1.39 million. 1.45 million. What I'll probably do. Is I'll connect this directly to that. All this money just for a convenient way to get planks over to this goods. Wow. Yeah, when I, in my previous run of this map, when I set this up, I didn't have this much uh, cost when it comes to setting up a goods factory. But Let's not just go the easy way. Anyway, let's let time tick so I can make some money. We'll make some money back pretty quickly anyway, so it really doesn't matter. We're already up to 760k. And the end of the month. But yeah, we're at the point where I actually don't mind spending a little bit of extra to have a reasonable route. It's only 1883 and I'm already deciding to spend 1.5 million dollars on a freaking tunnel that goes like this. I spent yeah quite a lot to dig down into the ground. 1.16 million? Meh. Let's just borrow it. There we 
There we go. We got a tunnel. And now, to double track this, how much is it going to cost? 773k. Well, what's another million? <laughs> Alright, I bet that. Well, looks not too, too bad. Although, with that said, this is... Yeah, about that. Anyway, we're going to put a signal there. Signal there and there. There and there. Alright, about that. So that connects right into that. Alright. Now we just have $1.5 million of loans to pay back, which shouldn't be a problem. We're already up to 400,000. 400, and there we go. Can we pay the rest off by the end of the year? Construction cost $6.14 million. <laughs> And 279,000. And September. 300,000. So our running costs last year were 950,000. They're up to 842,000 this year. By the end of November, October. There we go, 500,000. Now I doubt we are going to make another 500,000 by the end of the year. That's fine. We'll just pay seven and a half thousand dollars loan interest. Unless, unless, 275k, one week to go, no, not, not gonna happen. Close. And yet, seven and a half thousand. What I'd just like to do is get this paid off and then we will continue on. All right, that's been paid off. And yeah, I kind of like this better, even though it costs more. I like it better than the setup I had, which was a station here. And then I had a truck line coming over here. That just seemed a little bit too convoluted. Now all I need to do is have a train line going from there over to here. So what I would like to do, we are going to put it on two speed. And we are going to run this downhill from here. Let's go to small country road. And now one thing I'd also like to do Yeah, we're gonna run with a... Another freight station. We are going to go with... I'm probably gonna send logs up here to this sawmill. So I'm gonna wanna have at least one going that way, one going this way. Although with that said, I could still do that. I'm gonna want possibly running planks possibly going that way. Although with that said, there's also a sawmill there. 
Okay. I see. Plus, we are also going to maybe hook this up over to here. Oil. And then plastics could be maybe brought over to here. Plastics could also be brought over to here. Supply Palm Bay. That's an option. So, yeah. Oil down to here. Plastics up to here. And there is oil here. There's also oil here. Which we could ship in as well. Is there any other oil over here? Not that I can see. Alright, well, I'm going to go with a four platform station. And I'm going to throw this in here. We'll just let the time tick. And I'm also going to want to have a second street connection. And we are going to want to connect it somewhere around here. This is going to be probably a tunnel here. Now let's destroy that. Actually, what I'll probably do is find a decent enough price. That works for me. And now we are going to... Yeah, 15k. Nope. Alright, we are going to bring this across. Like that. And now we are going to put a truck station. Right about here. Alright, so that is within range of that, so what I can do is, of course, it'll take logs from here, dump it over to here, to bring up to here, bring back down to here, and then it'll dump this off and send it out. Alright, we are going to build another truck station. We can just build it like right around here. 14 is good enough. And we're just going to connect that right in there. Another possibility if we want to use that, of course, is to divert some of the planks going there. So about that. All right. Now, we have that set up. What I'm going to do, we are going to need... Uh, let's... First, what I'm going to do is run this... Probably like that. And now depot. Sure. Now, do I want to set this up right away? No, I don't. But that is ready for now. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to bring this across. But first, I'm going to want to bring in my cross traffic because most likely what I'm going to have to do is raise this up and we're going to have a really long bridge coming across. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is we're going to disconnect that because I'm not going to need it. And 
here's a question. Can I... Time tick. That's the best I can do. Now, when I do run it, wow. That's the problem with slopes. There's no way to bring it down faster. Alright, with that said, what I would like to do is get some more stuff connected up. We are going to build a station down here. going to go with a do I want to go with a two platform what I'm going to probably want is a line running off that direction as well as a run line going up that way if I'm no longer using this line to bring oil from here down to here then actually where am I going to get the oil from that's the thing. From there, although that's, yeah, I didn't didn't really like that hill. This is a little bit convoluted. Spoil from there. Maybe. about this so we are I might go up to six tracks even though I probably won't need it let's let time tick just give me a little bit of extra money rolling in and I bring this across like that. How does this look over here? Yep, we're going to throw that there. Make that up and now. All right, well, what I'm going to do, we're going to throw in a few more stations. We are going to try to get to Patterson. Now, how did I do this last time? Well, I ran, I ran a street like this. Although not like that. And this is a large street. Four lane. That is all we have available. Now, small cut. No. Small street. Yep. We can't go up to a medium street without destroying some buildings. So we'll just go to there. Yeah. 
And now... Connect this to there. And now we are going to want this to go roughly in that direction. about there because what I'm going to want to do is remove this bridge we're gonna bridge over with a new bridge just because although I don't know if I'm planning to use ships oh, there we go front knack we also have the mogul available unfortunately ships will not be able to pass by this bridge here so if we want to be able to use ships we'll have to build another bridge like something like that. Yeah, about that. Not that we are going to do it for now. What I'd like to do is we're going to have some lines running up to Toledo, to Waco, Cape Coral. There'll be one coming up here to Chula Vista, one to Palm Bay, up to Downey, maybe around to Augusta. And then another going up here to Gilbert. So we are going to build a six platform passenger station. I'm going to plan ahead and do six platforms. Now. First, we are going to put in a passenger tram station. I'm actually going to put it over here. And I don't think I'm going to upgrade this road anymore, although I'll put it back just a bit. Just in case, we want the passenger station. And I might put a second street connection on. That is about 345 versus... Question is, do I want the town to expand in this direction? Possibly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this somewhere right about here. Although, with that said, it's probably right here. Oh, seriously. You know what? Connect that to that. Now, that should be in range. Yep. Perfect. Now, do I want to run any more roads? Not really. Although we are going to go medium street from here. Up to here. Bring this down to there. And what I will probably do... Do that. Do that. there, up to there. All right, that is for the future plan of Patterson. Now, 
What I'd also like to do, we'll just let time tick. We're going to be building another station here, but it'll probably just be... Uh, what do I want to use? No second street connection. If I go six or four tracks. Because what I'm going to want to do eventually is send the coal from here up to there. Is there any other coal that I want to send anywhere? There's coal here. Or, yeah, steel mill there. All right, so I'm going to probably put this right there. And now we're going to connect this up. I feel like future-proofing this, <laughs> although, yeah. Let's throw down some more infrastructure, and what we are going to do, you, four station. Yeah, four stations should be fine. Connect that up like that. Make sure Paris and North is connected to the, yeah. Eventually. That would be this. That is connected. All right. What I'm going to do is we're going to run this coal up to there. Do I want to run it through there? Not really. I probably should have gone with six platforms. Connect that to that. I'm gonna connect this. Oh, wait a minute. No, we'll do that. Connect this to this. And then we are going to run this. Yes, it is. We'll go with that. And that. What I'm going to do is want to run this over to here. I might have to figure out how I want the rail to connect. I'm also going to have to decide whether I want to upgrade any of the stations to six platforms. But at this point in time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to spend a little bit of time off screen just working out some details because I know as soon as I start using these, I'm like, well, maybe I want to have two more platforms. Maybe I want to go up to eight platforms for here. Things are subject to change, as to be expected, but uh, 
at this point in time, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. Whoa. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming. And as always, have a good day.